Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. This week's tutorial is a nice short one, but it's really cool. I'm going to show you how to set an auto adjusting width for your drop down menus, for your Divi menus. So on your desktop, you know, when you hover over your parent menu item and there's the drop down, um, what can happen is if the menu item is too long, it'll stack to two lines, or if it's if it's shorter, maybe you don't want it as wide. Let me show you a couple things here. So I'll just show you like a couple scenarios. Um, here, like here it's default. There's no adjustment made yet. So you can see even this one, I have a long menu item title. You can see it's going to two lines. This one's clearly going to two lines, a very long menu item title, okay? And then like, this is the default um, width that you can see, right? But if I wanted this to like become wider, this entire drop down, right? Maybe I want this one to be shorter to come over to here when it's shorter. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's, it's really simple. So come over to the blog post. I'll have it linked in the YouTube video and then that's important because you'll need the code. Um, but it's really like a one step tutorial. So basically here is the code snippet and I have instructions about where to paste that. Um, and so, you can just go ahead and copy the snippet here. So clicking that will copy this and paste it into your website. Now I can just show you quickly that we have it in a media query. We're only targeting the above desktop. So it's kind of just making sure it, this only affects desktop, not, not tablet and phones. And it's really simple. We're saying for the unordered list, that's like the sub menu dropdown that this list item, unordered list, is literally this entire thing, right? So for that, we're saying width fit content. And that's the most important part here because it's just saying that the entire dropdown is going to get as wide or narrow as needed based on the content. Well, the content of the dropdown is literally like the, the menu items. And so if you think about it, what the first thing is saying, hey, based on the menu items, this is how wide the drop down will be. But then we also are setting like the list item link to auto, right? And the list item, list item to white space no wrap, which means it won't wrap to the next line. So that's saying like just keep going in line across. And so what? Let's just see what happens. I'll show you this when I paste it into my website. I'm going to just quickly show you using this Chrome extension, it's called User CSS. I use that sometimes to quickly show you on the front end. So I added it to my website. That would be the same as you going and you know following one of these three locations to add your code, okay? So watch now. You can see this one got shorter. You can see how it's nicely fitting the text and you can see this one got longer and it's no longer stacked, right? So it's pretty obvious. Um, let's take that away, you can see that. All right, there you go. It's, that's pretty cool. Now, obviously, you don't want to make this, you know, much longer, um, but it is nice to be able to prevent it from stacking and looking kind of nasty um, the way that would, would stack sometimes, so. Uh, that's pretty cool. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I think I think it's really cool. I ended up doing it on my own website. I I had that problem where I have like I think Divi Child Themes maybe. I think it was this one was like too long. Something like that. And then it was like yeah, it was making it look really awkward and it frustrated me and I was like I'm going to find a solution and it turned out to be uh, really easy actually. Um, so now these, like you can see, this one's wider than this one. See that? Like it's adjusting to the widest one. Um, <laughs> this one's just a little longer. Uh, let's see. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. All right. So we probably have 40 or so different tutorials just on the menu on our blog and on YouTube. So you should subscribe and follow along with both of those and you'll get this kind of content. And we also have hundreds of other tutorials, not just about the menu, but um, just making a point that we have a lot of content about the menu and this is just another one of those. So 
I do. I hope you appreciate that. And um, yeah, enjoy all of our resources. We'll see you all in the next video.